Sway in the morning, Shay four five. We got to work on that, Adam. Uh, <laughs> we got to work on when we come out of songs. But um, listen, um, we, we're in a trying time right now, uh, but we faced a lot of adversity in these lifetimes, and we face a lot of adversity in this country. And uh, you know, I, I think there's always a common thread in these times uh, that get us through it. And for me, it's always been faith. You know, it's always been my faith, um, my dedication, my teachings as as I was a youth um, uh, growing up with my beliefs. I'm a believer. And because of that, I know that's why uh, I'm here, I am where I'm at, my belief in God. And there's certain people that I love to listen to. I, I, I lurk on his Instagram, Heather B. I, I watch mm-hmm. him when he jump in his car to self-quarantine with his lovely wife, um, I listen to him when he gets on that mic and speak to the people. I love to see him perform. I've yeah. seen him perform at times that he didn't even know me. I would come and see him perform in L.A. Um, and he's here today. The one and only Kirk Franklin is here. Yes. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, Kirk Franklin. Kirk, thank you. beautiful you. people. Man, Hi. man, it's an honor to be here with you all, man. It's an honor to be here. Man, let me ask you, bro. I've been watching you on Instagram and just, first of all, I love your home, man. Can I get an invite? <laughs> sure you can fam sure you can sure you can once we get through the storm you can come through man and i'll spray you down and you know you just come on <laughs> pray and spray <laughs> no man i i would be honored to man and it's an honor to be with y'all this morning sam um how have you and your family been coping who, who are you quarantining with oh um, man my my wife and my two kids uh, okay um my son was home for spring break. He goes to college in uh, Nashville. And so, you know, when everything hit, you know, um, he, he was here. And so, uh, and I was in Atlanta. Uh, there's a show that I shoot for, for, um, for BET. And we were in the middle of production. And um, Sunday best? Sunday best, man. Yes. And woke up that Friday morning. Um, last Friday morning, it was like, man, unfortunately, man, we've got to, We've got to put everything on hold, and so you know, it was a lot of people. A lot, you know, just a lot of incredible people that that work on that show. You know, a lot of crew, camera, stage people, lighting people. You know, it's so many people that are out of work right now, man. And you know, it just breaks my heart just for so many people across the country because so many people are having anxiety and 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 they have oh. fear. As it's understandable, you know, and so. Um, you know, I was there, and so I flew home that Friday night, man. The airport was, you know, was like a ghost town, and so I've been here with my family, and I'm very grateful to be here with them just to cover them and make sure that they're good. What what, what are you, like, I know a lot of people, including myself, called you, you know, just for some, you know, some strength. What what are you telling folks? This is a real time, and like Mike Muse said earlier, it's, it's only going to get worse as far as this virus before it gets better. And a lot of people's faith is being challenged uh, right now. And for me and a a whole lot of other folks, their faith is being reassured. But what are you telling folks who's being challenged right now? Yeah, man, it's, 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 it's the first thing that I always want people to always remember when we have a conversation about something that's vertical is the first thing that I like to start with is to reaffirm and to remind people because there's so many people that have become cynical about faith, so many people that have so many questions, there have been so many uh, misnomers and, 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 and so many different conversations about why God would do this, why do why is God this? Why does it seem like this bad? And, 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 and just different conversations in the globe about the conversation about God. And the first thing I always want to remind people is that God is a God of love and God loves us. God, God, God starts his whole conversation with humanity about love. Now, it does not mean that humanity always loves God. And so that's what we have to always have a conversation about. It's it's never God been this old white man that's thinning, that's got this long beard, that is always trying to be mean to humanity, that that, that exists to punish people. Um, that is one of the most unfortunate uh, um, narratives that we have in in culture. And so mm-hmm. I always want to start with the conversation of love, and then moving from love is that when we as human beings make our own decisions and, 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 and when we turn from God, we have to understand is that God is where he's always been. It's, it's not God that leaves us. 
a lot of times uh, it's us that turn from him. <laughs> and I'm not saying that what we are right now uh, necessarily is this 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 place of punishment, yeah. but it is definitely a place of awakening. It is a place mm. that uh-huh. our eyes and our ears do need to be open. Some people have always said, well, God does not speak. Well, <laughs> baby girl, God can't be talking no louder than he ever has talked before than he is right now. A lot Absolutely. of times we just listen with the wrong ears. And so yeah. I would say to anybody that you need to put your spiritual ears on and ask God, what is he trying to say to you right now? Because here's the most beautiful thing. Even though there, there are billions of of souls that uh, roam the earth. God in his incredible uh, 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 DNA is able to hear and have conversations with every individual soul at the same time. And I think that's miraculous. And I think that right now it would be a beautiful and wonderful time to ask God, what are you trying to say specifically to me? Because Uh that individual conversation is a reminder how much God does love you. Uh, man, we got Kirk Franklin is with us uh, right now, a uh, good friend of the show, Sway in the Morning Citizen. Um, in case you don't know, you came out to talk. You came to us to talk about the Long Live Love album, um, and we were talking about Sunday Best, which is a BET show. You also got the Kirk Franklin Exodus Festival that was scheduled for May twenty fourth. Is yeah, that still yeah. is that still happening? We don't know, man. We don't know. And 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 Sway, first of all, man, I appreciate you showing love because I, you know, the don't didn't even mean to jump on the phone to try to get promos for anything that I'm doing. That, that, oh, absolutely. That's re- that's really humbling what you're saying and doing, man. Thank you for that, but man, but I'm really here because as a bro, you called me and I wanted to jump on the phone because if I can speak anything to your audience, man, to give them a sense of hope to be vertical, you know, it's definitely now. I have no idea. What's, what's happening in the future for me but there are millions of Americans that don't have any idea what's happening in the the future for them so man today it ain't even about me man it's just about having this incredible opportunity that you pass the mic to me and, and for me to try to speak into the hearts of people okay well let's do this uh, I want to play uh, one of your songs and okay. Love, okay. love I think I'm going to play Love Theory um, all right. All right. okay that's my joint and I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open up the phone lines for the citizens to speak directly with Kirk Franklin. If you want to say some words or get some words from him, I know Heather and Tracy want to chime in as well. Yeah. Um, man, hey, man, 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 listen. Right after Wu Tang, I'd be honored to go right after the Wu. So yeah, man, <laughs> let's, let's go. Hey, hey, you know what's funny, Kirk? I had him fade that down a little bit because you was on the line. I said, man, I don't know if we should play the no, Wu right what, now. What, 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 now, what was that, 36 Chambers? Was yeah. That, oh, that was, oh, oh, man. Hey, you want to hear some? We can... do you want a revolution? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, we listen, coming. Man, I'm we a got... Method Man fan. I'm, you I'm, a Method I'm, Man I'm, fan? I'm, oh, come on, man. Bars for life, sir. Come on, Ooh. man. He's he's very, he's very, uh, he's very overlooked when we talk about top MCs, man. Yeah. Math, come on. Hey, Adam. Adam, Adam. On, Adam. Adam, is it a way to pull up a Method Man song, or we just got to go with what we got? Uh, do you have on, a particular on, Method Man on, song? Hold on, hold on. You know what we can play, man, that we can flip for, for the culture right now, talk about uh, being vertical? Won't you play the Mar- the Mary J joint with Meth? You're all I need to get all by. All I need. So, all yeah, I need man. with Mary J and Method yeah, Man. Yeah, man. Adam, yeah, man. God, you're all I need to get by, God, right now. So let's I get it. That. You want let's, that next? Yeah. Let's do that next, and I'm gonna open up the phone lines. You want to speak with? Oh, we Kirk. can play love. I'm, I'm, you know, you just we gonna end with. Do, man. I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm in your play, living room. I'm gonna play all I need, and then we're gonna end the uh, conversation uh, when we after we talk to the citizens. We'll play love theory. Okay. Okay. Super all right. Dope. Kirk Franklin is here. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Broadcasting live. Have the B Tracy G is sway in the mm. morning. Shay four five. <laughs> All right, uh, Sway in the Morning, Shay 45. We got the one and only Kirk Franklin is on the phone. Give him a good round of applause, Adam. Yes, Kirk yes, Franklin yes, is yes. here, man. Woo! Come on, come on. All right. Um, absolutely, man. Um, and we're broadcasting from our bedrooms, Kirk. Heather B is, um, she's actually at her house in Jersey, right, Bizzle? Yes, I'm here in New Jersey, Kirk. Thank you for joining us as well. No, man, no, thank you for having me. It's really good to hear your voice as well. I wanted to um, jump in really quickly and ask you a question. Um, I was having this conversation 
last night with my husband and, and we were just talking about the fact that I was raised Catholic. So for um, us, you know, people that was raised Catholic, we practice Lent season, you know, and a lot of times at the start of Ash Wednesday, going back a few weeks, people recognize that it's Lent season and, you know, they abstain from certain things and, and people start talking, well, I'm fasting and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And what an, what an interesting time for um, all of these things, for people that do uh, recognize the Lent season, for all of this to be going on. What would you say, because a lot of people feel like, well, now since everything is happening, um, I can break my fast or I can do this or I can do that. But for me, I always recognize fasting as a place and a time to be closer to God and to your point to be listening now more than ever. This is not the time to be breaking the fast. This is not the time to just be sloppy with it. Uh, What would you say to those people? Man, that is a very good question. Thank you for asking me. And 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 once again, just whatever I say, I always want to try to say in a spirit of humility and in a a, a a spirit of 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 just humbleness. It's one of the challenges I believe that can be with religion, is that religion is all about what we do for God. It's about whether we take a pilgrimage or we do a fast or we uh, do all these things to get closer to God and and it's man's efforts it's it's man's interpretation of 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 doctrines or different ideologies that that we feel get us closer to God and the reason why for me as a Christian I chose uh, the, the 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 faith of Jesus Christ is because it's not what I do, but it's what he did. And so when we, when we try to live our lives in a daily concert of resting in his strength and, and, and his work and not my work, then you don't run out of steam, you know, because mm-hmm. what, what is happening is that I think religion uh, can make a person run out of steam mm-hmm. because it's, well, I don't have to do this, or I'm not going to do this, or, uh, what what is the need to do this instead of resting in what he did? If that makes any sense, it's like hey, as yes. a wife, if you came home every day, and if you had a list of things that you needed to do as a wife to be close to your husband, at some point you're gonna get frustrated instead of just being who you are and being who you are every day and letting your love for your husband be who you are. You don't run out of steam when it comes to being a wife. You, all you have to do is just be. It's almost like an apple tree. You never see an apple tree stressing to make apples. All that apple tree has to do is stay connected to the vine. And when you stay connected to the vine, that apple tree automatically makes apples. And so mm-hmm. the reason why I am one that is timid to encourage people to fast or to do certain events or to take this or to do to, to do all these moments is because you want to run out of steam when you feel that these are the things that make you closer to God. Mm-hmm. Right now at this very moment with with your breath stinky, with you sitting in your drawers, <laughs> you are no more closer to God right now than you are with a suit, with some nice shoes during Lent season or whatever you may be in. You are just as close to God right now as you are during those times. And, and I think it's very important to remember that so that you don't run out of steam and, and that you don't have to ask yourself these specific questions that have to do more with ideology. It is just remaining. And if you remain in his heart, and if his heart remains in you, you will always be what he wants you to be. Does that make sense? Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Wow, Kirk Franklin is here. Uh, Kirk Tracy is actually in Brooklyn uh, where yes, she lives. Yes, I lived. am. And, uh, Kirk, I'm uh, so happy that you could join us. Oh, man, I'm humbled to be here, man. Thank you all for having me. Yeah, absolutely. I'm wondering, you said the word that really stood out, um, awakening, viewing it as an awakening and not so much a punishment. And I've been thinking about how a benefit of quarantine um, for a lot of folks is that they are forced to explore their identity outside of the office. Um, they're yeah. given the opportunity yeah. to have more yeah. quiet in their lives and that can be quite uncomfortable when it's happening for the first time and, you know, and without warning. So I'm thinking there's a lot of people now who may consider praying for the very first time, yeah, but yeah, maybe yeah. have no idea where to begin. 
you know, like yeah. what that yeah. type of conversation is like. <clears throat> Would you mind just giving some tips and then maybe also sharing like what your first prayer with God was? Wow, super dope, super dope question. Um, there's a psalm in the Bible, Psalms 23 in Whitman Mill. Oh. It's, one, it's one of the most popular songs, you know. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And, and, and most of us know that. There is a line in that psalm that says, He maketh me lay down. He maketh me lay down. And there are times where there's this place of rest. See, that's why the seasons are so beautiful. Like, like, like the beauty of spring comes when we have the beauty of flowers and, 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 and the uh, leaves turning into these beautiful spring colors is because they slept during the winter. It's, it's that all of these plants in winter, there is this period where they rest. And a lot of us don't like winter or we don't always like the rain or we don't always like these seasons that are not comfortable and beautiful. But those seasons are very important because all the things that we get to enjoy about spring is because all of those things took a rest in winter. And so we are so important to the Lord is that because we may get busy in life, because we may get distracted with technology or things or 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 trying to get that bag, or, or just whatever it may be, that a lot of times God has to make us lie down. God mm-hmm. has to put us in, in uh, uncomfortable situations because he loves us and to make us rest. Because remember, the most important thing is God is not trying to make the, the world happy. He's trying to make the world his. Mm-hmm. He wants you to be his more than he wants you to be happy. Because happy is always happening. Happiness has to do with what's happening. You always have to have something happening to be happy. Mm. God don't want you to be happy. He wants you to be his. So even when chaos is going on around you, you know who you belong to. And that is more long term than just a moment of happiness. And then what I would talk about prayer is that prayer is nothing more. Nothing more. It is not a ritual. It is not this, 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 this formal moment. It is definitely if you sitting on the toilet, if you sitting in the back room, if you wherever you are, if 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 you mm-hmm. never had a conversation with God, and if some of the reasons are you know very understandable, maybe you were introduced to uh, not God, but you were introduced to religion, and and sometimes religion, well, a lot of times religion is spooky, it's scary. You may have had you know a a a traumatic moment in your life where you may be angry at God, and so mm-hmm. you haven't talked to God. You may have um you know some 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 education or certain certain levels of scholarship that you think that is stupid. Uh, even stupid to think about God, okay? Those things may be fair. And, and, and so what I want you to be able to understand is that no matter where you are, you can still have a conversation. And prayer is nothing but a conversation with God. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. That, that is all it is, man, is that you having a conversation about a God that loves you more than anything in the world. And all you got to say is, God, holler at your boy. That's it. <laughs> you can use slang. Girl. <laughs> I'm let me talk to me. Talk to me the same way that you would talk to any friend. Uh-huh. Is the way you can talk to your heavenly Father and there start there. Have honest come. If you're mad at him, tell him you're mad. God ain't. Uh, he's not insecure. He's not walking around with with his feelings on 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 his shoulders. You know. Mm-hmm. If you're angry, if you're mad, if you're confused, start there. Okay. Just start mm-hmm. the conversation. And you'd be surprised what you hear back. Kirk Franklin, it's with us, Sway in the Morning. This is our first broadcast in, in this way. We're all at our homes, but we wanted to make sure we were able to reach to the citizens in the world. Um, and I want to give people a chance to ask you one or two questions, Kirk. I, be, I, um, I appreciate you taking the time away from your family to be with us this morning. Bro, Indeed. I'm here and I ain't got nowhere to go. So we good. <laughs> <laughs> you, people don't answer their phone right now, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard that. There's hey, exceptions. Car- yeah, Carly's no on the line. Car- Carly's no on the line from New Orleans. Oh, no, Carly. shut up. Yes. Shut up. Yes, Carly. Shut up. Yes, Carly. Yes, Carly. To, you know what? I'm about to pull over. Kurt, Sway, Kurt, Sway. Yeah. We have yeah. the same yeah. prayer. Thank you, God, for the gift of the present, for the present. And then the bonuses and the blessings of everything that I want because I expect it because I'm going to do right to earn it. Mm-hmm. And, Kurt, when I tell you, every weekend since this has started, I have been sending people 
this song from 97. And I can, you can chime in and just do it a cappella. Give me that joy I can't explain. Uh, I can walk away <laughs> when another girl wants to take your place. Just give me that. We bounce to that. that in my house. Give me that. Wow. Give me 1997 Kirk Franklin. And I remind people, he's going to show you who to like and who to follow. Mm. And that's all no I got to say. Marley, look up. And, 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 is and, and, and that record is from 2011. That's I know. from 2011. 2011, not 97, 2011. Not 97. So, Maybe yeah, you know so what I was giving, that. about to give so, birth in 97, so I always go oh, back. So. <laughs> yeah, so that's not <laughs> looking for Joe. Yes, that's I'm not sorry. The S-curl Kirk Franklin. 97 was the S curl Kirk Franklin. 2011 yes. Was the uh, you know low <laughs> low low cut Kirk Franklin? So thank yeah. you. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I, I used you. to. I used to like the S curl Kirk Franklin. Hey Kirk, have you ever had any of your uh, people that follow you, like Carly, to tell you that they made babies listening to your music? She had a baby in '97. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, praying through it, earth. praying through the get ready for the process of bringing somebody on this earth, and I just need God. Just stay with wow. me. There a is. wonderful yes, father yes, is yes. a great thing, but guess what? God on my back, that, that's it. That and Similac. Thank you. <laughs> Carly, you are a citizen. A sway in the morning. Thank you. Thank you for Y'all keep doing in. what you're doing. Okay. Uh, thank you. Kirk, I want to thank you for being on the show this morning, bro. Mm-hmm. I, man, listen, I, I can't even tell you how elated I was. I know I texted you a lot. I just couldn't believe no, you man. was going to do it, I'm man. Honest. And um, I appreciate your words and, and their healing. And, it's you know, I'm getting a lot of twi- uh, people on Twitter and Instagram thanking us uh, for making things feel normal. And having you on is helping, even though these are not the normal times. These are the new times. This is the new norm, so to speak. But having you on it's just uh, it gives people a sense of stability and foundation. Like, OK, I'm not totally stir crazy here. That's Kirk Franklin. And Kirk Franklin is being consistent in what he's always been able to do and inspire and uplift us. So I want to wow. say continue success. Um, thank you for blessing our airwaves. I might call you again next week. Call me again next week if you need your boy, man. I'm here. OK, okay I'm, I'm here. Right. I appreciate you, man. Uh, we're going to do some sports uh, real quick up next, uh, and I want to play this Love Theory by Kirk Franklin. Y'all give it up for Kirk Franklin. Give him a round of applause, Adam. Kirk Franklin, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Have a beautiful day, Kirk. Bless you, Joe. Thank you, sir.